Welcome everybody. In this video I want to show and talk about the Plus One Guide add-on. The Plus One add-on licenses provide additional powerful features on Plus One Guide to reduce time to market, improve quality and increase productivity of the Plus One developer. Features that support software V module product lifecycle management design and validation, as well provisions for verification at the module level and system integration. The add-on features provides application software developers quality insurance and auditing tools used for fulfilling IEC 61508-3 functional safety requirements. It might not be necessary to use all the tools, but we recommend the software developer to use them in their software development process. Like for any add-on product, Plus One Guide Professional is required and sold through a customer's existing Danfoss sales channel. The first Plus One Guide add-on feature is the version control support, which is a front-end viewer for tracing software revisions history. This feature fulfills partially uh, ISO 61548 requirements for the management of safety-related software, software modification and safety-related application software. Plus One Guide support uh, working with version control software like Git and SVN and other uh, version control tools. WireGuide project view in combination with a third-party version control program such as Tortoise Subversion, you can identify the core files that you need to open, continue and compile a project. Export these core files for safekeeping to your version control repository. Your version control program implements the uh, export functions that are available through this uh, window, like checkout, open the, um, the repo um, browser, export and import from and to the version control repository. The Plus One Guide add-on Compare SDS is used to highlight differences between two graphic images. While the Guide Tools menu select Compare SDS files, you can open a separated tool to compare two different pages. In this tool, you can browse and select the SDS files that have pages that you want to compare, set up the page view, create a report, and start to compare. Both selected pages and their SDS modules containing graphical code and Plus One Guide will be compared and the differences will be shown. You can switch between 1.3 and 2.3's view for the pages on the left side, where you can select any page via double click and display the comparison result on the right side window. The results can be shown in an overlay and separate page view. Like in this example, it does contain differences in the page functions shown with a red marked square. After double click on that page, differences will be shown in the page view in different colors. Which color is used and stands for can be checked by the info button called legend. The comparison toolbar does also provide quick comments, the first, previous, next and last difference and find specific differences as, as well. This plus one compare SCS can be added as div tool to version control tools like um, the Toys SV and the Toys Git and other tools as well. While the version control tools or tool settings, the comparison SCS tool can be added to specify alternate div programs based on file extension. Next plus one guide add on feature is the dependency view and visual identification software flow with manual step by step user <coughs> interface. It fulfills partially ISO 61548 requirements of validation plan for software aspects of system, general software architecture design and coding standards, support tools and programming language, code implementations, software integration testing, and safety related application software as well. By our guide tools menu, view dependencies comment, you can trace the logical net forward and backward dependency connections of a selected route on a single page or through multiple pages. Looking at the dependency view window, you can easily switch between pages that have logical net backward and forward dependency connections of the selected route and display the page in page preview panel. The dependency of the selected route is shown in different colors, which makes it easier to follow. In this shown little example, the logical net dependency connections marked 
that in green does show the normal view of the selected signal. So more or less since this signal has been created till the signal is used to read or assign to another signal or digital out pin. Forward dependency does not occur in this little example. The backward dependency is shown in blue and shows the signals, values, or variables which do have a dependency. So the signals which are used to create the selected signal in front of the compare component greater, which shows the vault signal, so dependency path up to the multifunction input, and the um, parameter value triggered from a digital signal, so dependency path up to the digital input. The traceability feature is used to track page changes and link requirements to code with the system architecture file and traceability features. A traceability report can be added or assigned to any page via the page inspector, which is visible after entering the page or via the query dialog. The traceability properties can be opened. A traceability property includes a title, ID, and description. And the description can also include hyperlinked or external documents. So for example, the requirement descriptions. And a hyperlink to the guide page can be copied and used in a requirements tool or document. The plus one guide add-on static analyzer helps improve quality by performing static analysis of graphical code to find dead or inefficient code. Via plus one guide options setting, the user can set up what needs to be considered for the static analysis compiling process. If the full static analyzer is executed after each successful check or compile, including dead code, threshold value on number of elements or page level and hardware connectors to report warning and check the th threshold value on percentage code reused in project. All static analyzer warnings will be listed inside the guide compiler messages window. One of the biggest add-on feature is the test tool. The test tool is used to perform page level tests enabling, enabling the, the user to design unit and system integration tests executed fully on the PC. So no external hardware is used. It fulfills partially ISO 61548 requirements for validation plan for software aspects of system safety, general software architecture design, software module and software integration testing. The tests are organized in so-called test cases where each test case has signal input values, expected output values or um, acceptable ranges and measured output values. Send and receive CAN messages can be part of the simulation as well. You can set up um, pass-fail criteria for test cases and the test results can be reported in guide and both in uh, tabular and simple graphic form and provide them or import also in XML or CSV formats. Both plus one guide tools, the debugger and the test tool can be used together. So the test cases, which has been created in the test tool can be fed as input to the debugger in order to step through code execution for more detailed examination. Last but not least, another plus one guide add-on feature is the SIL2 compilation. This feature is a special compilation procedure to ensure that only released and certified versions of the plus one guide program are used and that the developer ensures adherence to the ISC 61508. The SIL compilation does include a market released version of the hardware in use that is certified to comply with this IC standard, a market released version of plus one guide that is certified to comply with the standard, and the guide SIL2 compile has been used and the developer confirms that the application fulfills SIL2 certification requirements as stated in the IC61508. 
If all these mentioned conditions are fulfilled, the compile SIL2 button will be visible in the menu bar and compile of the safety classified application possible. In addition to that, a SIL2 certified component will be available, which can be used in SIL2 application to indicate the or the fulfillment of requirements for a SIL2 certified application. This component provides a true signal on the output if the SIL2 compile process has been done correct. That output can then be used to manage or control some critical safety related functions inside the safety application. We hope that you found this tutorial useful. Remember that Plus One community help is available on the Plus One user forum. Check out other videos on our YouTube channel or contact the Plus One help desk. Thank you for your attention.